Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's an exciting day. My long-awaited Popovi dolls are finally here. And I ordered them, it's been a year and a month ago, so I ordered them in February of 2020. This is March of 2021, and they are here. Now, one of them is just a blank and nude, and I just wanted to save on shipping because the shipping is, it's over $100. Um, it was $150 roughly for two dolls and so I want to just have them shipped together and I'll kind of decide what to do with her as far as face up and body blush goes later but Cuckoo who is in here is on body two and she is painted by the sister so that's what took so long and I didn't get her full set from the sisters like I did my Tawny Owl because um, I was thinking it might be faster just to get it just painted but it, it was, and it took about the same amount of time. My Tony Owl actually took a little less time, but you know, we had COVID during 2020, so I'm sure that affected a lot of things. Now, that being said, I heard from somebody recently that they are no longer offering um, the paint service unless you buy a full set doll from them, which I haven't confirmed that myself, but it would make sense to me because they're probably getting so many requests for dolls that are just painted and when they could be making wigs and outfits and stuff like that. So again, I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't confirmed it, but when I bought my doll, um, cause people always want to know the price, she was $900 and then to have her painted by the sisters was an extra $500. And then my bank charges $45 for a wire fee to send a wire because you have to pay them by wire um, to order your doll. And then um, there was an additional, um, what did I say, 500, 500 for the paint, 900 for the doll, um, $45 for the wire, $100 for the shipping, and um, the eyes, I think, were $40 because you have to get the eyes separately. And eyelashes may be $10. So anyway, that's what it was at the time. But if you want a current price list of what they charge, all you have to do is email them. They, you can email them and they'll get back to you. Igor will get back to you with the current um, catalog and price list. And there's no obligation there. So you're not really you know, if you really want to know, just send them an email and ask them, you know, tell them you're interested in ordering a doll and you want to see what the pricing options are. So we'll eventually get there. This is wrapped very well because it, of course, came from Russia. It was shipped via FedEx, uh, not FedEx, it was shipped via UPS this time where previously my dolls from them have come via FedEx. So, um, let's see, keep going, we're getting, we're getting warmer here but anyway um, that's always the, the comment that people leave on these Popovi videos is what do they cost what do they cost what do they cost so I just told you what they cost um, when I bought them again prices prices have gone up um, over the last year so I would definitely I mean don't quote me on those prices they may be different now Gosh. Wow. All right, so let's, um, so now there should be, I think there's gonna be two doll boxes in here. I'm gonna find where the, the opening is. Okay, it's right here. I'm gonna cut that. Oh, this is a new box. Oh, maybe these are the sides of the boxes. I'm dumb, it's not new. This is the side of the box. I was thinking this is the top of the box. I'm like, oh, this is a new box. I'm an idiot, sorry. Okay, so there's one box and two box. And I'm gonna take a quick peek because I wanna look at Cuckoo first. So I'm gonna figure out which one is Cuckoo first. Okay, this is her. All right, so I'm gonna show her to you guys. And she's covered up, so I can actually show her. So there are her eyes. Oh, look at her. Oh, all we can see is her eyes and they're so fantastic. Now I will leave below in the video description 
all of the particulars that I um, requested for this doll, like the makeup number, the eye number, the skin tone, the body, all that. I can't remember them off the top of my head other than body two, but if you want that information, please just click that little drop down for the video description below. They sent a flower with her, yay. They must send a flower with all of their painted dolls because I got a flower. These are one of the neck flowers. I got one of those also with my Tawny Owl. And I honestly haven't used it, but I think um, for Cuckoo, I'm gonna put it on her since I didn't get a Popovi outfit for her. It'll be really nice to have that touch of, um, you know, Popovi to it. So just to show you guys the COA, because she is painted um, by the sisters. So this is how this looks. So we've been making dolls since 2004, and for us this activity has transformed into a special thematic kind of art. Together with fashion, it's given us a freedom to express our contemporary and cosmopolitan vision of beauty. We believe that our mission is to tell you a story, and each time it should be a new one, allowing to dream and escape into a world of unfettered imagination. Inspired by history and nature, always try to transcend the humdrum and commonplace. So that's really cool. So um, here is, so this is how the certificate looks. I think this is different than the last time. So this is like a sort of, it reminds me of film. Um, I don't know what you would call that, but it's some sort of transparency paper and then there's a picture. Um, and then there we go. So there, oh, there's the, and that's, all, that's printed on a fabric. So that's her certificate. I love looking at the little details like this just because, you know, just to show you guys what to expect if you were to order one in the future so you kind of know what you're, what you're getting. You're getting high quality with these dolls, um, very high quality. All right, so that's done. We've got the flower. I'm gonna set the scissor to the side. I'm gonna start working on her. She's got a ton of bubble wrap, so I'm gonna have to be really careful. And I'm also going to, let's see, I'm gonna be, Come on off. I can't wait to reveal her face. Just her eyes already are just completely stunning. Like, opening one of these dolls is a crazy experience. And I I don't, I can't remember if I've said this in my other Popovi unboxings. I've got a couple more on the channel. If you haven't seen them, definitely check them out. But this is like, when I first realized that mere mortal human beings could buy their dolls. I was really excited because I, I didn't, for so long I had seen them, you know, I had seen them in magazines and I had, you know, seen them in various places and it was very, um, I just thought they were very elite dolls that, you know, somebody like myself couldn't get a hold of, but they actually just, you know, take orders like any other. And the cool thing about them is, it, while it is a pre-order because you do have to wait for your doll to be cast and finished, etc. You don't have to wait for a pre-order period to open. Their orders are always open. So they always, you can just email at any time, request the order form, the catalog and the order form, and once you get it filled out, I'm just gonna slip her out from under this because I'm struggling with these ribbons. Um, once you get that part, once you get it paid for, they start they start casting your doll, and then after that, they will once if you're going to have it painted again. I don't know if they're still just painting dolls if you have to get a full set, but oh, look at her feet. Okay, so let's just start with the details of the feet because they're so gorgeous and they're unwrapped. So there's her feet. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I can't wait to see where the moth is on her. So on all their dolls that they paint, they put a, they paint a moth tattoo somewhere onto the doll. So this is, like I said, body two, and I haven't, um, I don't have a body two in my collection. So, but I, I unboxed a body two doll for a friend one time, and I really loved body two. Body two might be my favorite body. I'm gonna have, after this, I'm gonna have all I'm gonna have four bodies. They released a different body since I've ordered this doll. But, um, so I'm gonna be able to do a comparison and show you guys, oh, look at the hands. So I asked for these hands that have the, look at the manicure they did. They did like a neutral, like a mauve almost. That's gorgeous. That is really beautiful. 
I really love that. I love those fingernails. So gorgeous. She's fantastic. Um, so now we're gonna do, I'm gonna cover her bum. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, let's see, cut this. Okay, so now I'm covering her bum. I'm gonna put her in this um, play suit that I got from Mini Stitches. And I got this from her a while ago when I first ordered these dolls. Um, actually, Mini Stitches is a team, it's a they team. I ordered it from them a while ago um, when I ordered the dolls because I wanted to have something to put on and their Popovi model is a body too. So when I got it, um, I was corresponding with with Amanda from the team and she told me, you know, this is really for body, um, body two. I actually was able to stretch it and get it on body three, but it's not really meant for body three. So this, it's actually meant for this body. So that's exciting that it's gonna fit. Now, while I've got this pulled up, I just want you guys to take a look at, look at those hip bones and the blushing on the hip bones and the torso. These dolls are so beautifully well made. I love them. I really do. They're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So let me finish this process. Still have not encountered the mo <gasps> Ooh, her back is freckled. Oh my gosh. I have to show y'all this once I get this on. Hold on. Come on. on. Okay. So we gotta cover her, her little honey up. All right, check out this freckling on her back. It's funny because I'm, I'm, I'm revealing her one part at a time, and so I'm really savoring this. I, on my other Popovi unboxings, both of them, I'll get nasty comments sometimes like, hurry up woman, why are you taking so long to unbox? Because I paid a lot of money for this stall, and I'm gonna savor every moment of this unboxing. And if you don't like it, don't watch it, or just fast forward to the end. I don't know why people have to make nasty comments like that. But I really, this is something you really want to savor and enjoy. And when you, when you do it, when you're revealing her inch by inch like this, you really can appreciate all the small little details. So now I'm gonna unwrap her front. Let's see, I'm gonna have to cut the tape again. And, oh gosh, her face is gonna be the, the ultimate reveal for me. I'm so, all right, let's see, let's undo her arms. I'm gonna cover her, oh wow. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm gonna cover her up so we can, um, so I can show you guys this portion. I wonder if the moth is on the back. If, if it is, you guys are gonna know before me because I haven't even looked at her back yet. Nope, it's not there. That back is gorgeous though. So it must, I'm guessing it's gonna be on her arm somewhere. Oh, it's so much fun to like, and her chest is smaller than the other bodies I have. So it is a good bit smaller, but look at, gosh, look at the detail of that painting. Just look at the, look at that. It's so gorgeous. Like all the freckling and the, the texturing and how beautiful it is. I really love it. She's really amazing. She's so beautiful. Where's your mouth? Where's your tattoo? Reveal it to me. All right, let me get her, let me get her brassiere hooked. <laughs> There's the moth. Ah, it's on her upper arm. So that's funny because my tawny owl's moth is also on her upper arm like that, on, like on her bicep. So I wonder, I wonder if the camera will even pick it up because she's so pale and the moth is so pale. Um, wow. I love that. that. That to me is such a fun detail. It's like, that's their signature. And for them to do that for every doll, I just really love it because, I don't know, it's just fun to, to discover that. So I'm gonna just pull the rest of this bubble wrap off and then we're gonna have the big reveal, the very big reveal, which is her gorgeous face. This is how their magnets work, by the way, if you've never seen that. They're like not like the round magnets, they're rectangular. 
I like that. So, okay, let's carefully, carefully do this face reveal. There's a big mess of bubble wrap everywhere. I'm sorry. That. Okay, let's see. beautiful she is oh my word I'm gonna pull her up look at and I got the um the one piece neck instead of the jointed neck so I could see how I like that silhouette because I'm kind of starting to like the one piece neck better than the jointed neck the jointed neck you get a lot more posability but with the one piece neck you have that elegantness like it's a very elegant for the one piece neck Gosh, wow, that face, that face is so per. I love their, their, oh, she's wonderful. She is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I'm trying to figure out if some of the, no, okay. So now what I have to decide is, I love her ears too, I love the ears of this sculpt. They're really nice. I like how they kind of stick out some. So I've got three wigs here to try on her. Like originally I had intended for her to wear this wig. Um, and this is from Anna Zola Tahina, which I've bought a lot of wigs. Actually, I think I unboxed this wig on the channel. So you guys are gonna have to let me know which wig you like best for her. This one's gotten a little messy over time because I've used it a lot in the past year. So we've got red. I, I think I really like this look a lot. The cool thing is I can change her wig whenever I want, right? So that's what's nice about BJDs is that you can change the wig at your will. So that's really nice. And then I've got pink. Ooh. That's also nice in a different way, right? So we've got pink. Ooh, she's got so many freckles. I love it. I really love it. And then for fun, I wanted to try one of my hopeful creation wigs. Now this one's actually for my incoming Somni, but I just want to try it on her because I want to see if it fits. Um, and it's purple, and I knew I was gonna dress her in purple. So, it actually does fit, yep. Check that out. So there she is in purple. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below which wig you like best, if you like red, pink, or purple for her wig. I think I like the red the best. And I think that was the one I had intended for her. But it'll be fun to change her around, so. I'll definitely do that. Now, I have also, I'm gonna put the red on, actually I'm gonna put the pink on because the pink's the least, um, I think it's not gonna go anywhere right now. And I got her some shoes, so I'm gonna put those on because I got heeled feet with her. So, let's put those on. I'll finish her shoes later off camera because I'm really struggling with my hands today, but those are gonna look really nice. I mean, they do look really nice on her, right? So I've got the heeled feet um, and this cute little play suit for her to wear for now. And then um, you've seen the couple of different wigs. Gosh, I love her. I really do, she's really beautiful. I love the hands that I got with her as well. Just those hands are something else. So, just, oh, she's so beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna quickly um, go through and we're gonna unbox Magpie and have a look at her. And she's on body one, so I'm gonna set her just in her box to the side for protection. Gosh, she's something else, y'all. She's really lovely, really, really beautiful. And I'm gonna do a clean sweep like that okay and then let's check magpie out 
So I'm not gonna open her certificate because it's, you know, gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Let's see if I can get this ribbon untied. Okay, so I apparently got her with the ballet feet. I didn't remember. So this is Magpie with ballet feet, and this is body one. So we're gonna have a good comparison later um, about um, her and body one, two, three, and four. I can't remember all the different, I think she's Mocha maybe? I can't remember for sure, but I'm gonna slip a play suit on her as well. Now this one was made for body four, I wanna say, so we'll see how the fit is. Um, oh, not bad at all. So there's that, and then I'm gonna pull, ooh, pull the hand right out. You don't have to be as careful with this one because she's not painted, right? So I'm not gonna risk scratching, ooh, look at that hand. I'm not gonna risk scratching any paint up um, with her. So I can kind of go a little more forceful as I'm unboxing her. And I, it's funny, I, I have always really loved the Magpie sculpt because of the teeth. Like I really, really like the teeth on Magpie. So, and apparently I got her with pierced ears as well. So that'll be fun. And then let me slip this on um, so we can have a look at the body one. And I don't know if this is actually gonna fit her because she is body one. Let's see if I can get her in there. Oh yeah, it works. Check her out. So there's her face with all her teeth. And there's definitely, so this is body one, which is their, their I guess it's their first um, mass produced sort of, not mass produced, but you know, their first sort of um, body for the dolls. So it is like just holding it, it is different. It feels, it has a much different feel to it um, than the other bodies that I have, and I can't really describe it. It's like, it feels heavier. I, surely it's not heavier, but it kind of feels that way. Like, oh, look at her eyes. Oh, let me put the red wig on her. There she is, Magpie, with the ballet feet. So, I, like I said, I haven't decided what to do with her yet, who to send her to, if I'm gonna get her painted right away, that sort of thing. But she really is lovely. And the resin is so smooth on these dolls. It is so, so smooth and so, like no seams in sight, just really gorgeous. And wow, this is interesting. Like it is considerably, this body one is considerably less detailed than the body two in my opinion. So if you just, just looking at these two, like the kneecaps especially, are way less detailed. So that's just interesting to know. But I'll do a full comparison of the four bodies at some point here on the channel, just so you guys can see the difference between them all. So you can kind of make, body one is the least expensive. So I think you can get a body one doll. I want to say they're 850. I can't remember off the top of my head or they were when I ordered. So again, you know, the prices may have changed. But anyway, this is a happy day. Cause again, I ordered these um, in February of 2020. So we're in March, 2021. They're so gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. So anyway, guys, um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far, thank you for making it to the end because I know this is a long video, but like I said, I really love to savor these dolls because it's not every day you get to open a doll like this. Um, so if you um, are not subscribed, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments which wig you like best on Cuckoo. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.
I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S., Leah W., Jenny C., Doreen Z., Janice H., Mercedes W., Angela E., Cindy K., Bear Sunflower, and Diane B. Thank you so much for helping support the goals of the MPD community and supporting this channel. You can check the description box of this video to see how you can help support this channel through Patreon. Thank you.